In this video, I'm going to explain what are the different CAD database and their structures. Now let us see that CAD that we know a computer aided design database typically refers to a structured digital response repository where CAD files and related design data are stored, organized and managed. A database is an organized collection of graphics and non-graphics data stored on secondary storage in the computer. The objective of database is to collect and maintain data in a central storage so that it will be available for operations and decision making. So CAD databases are commonly used in engineering, architecture, manufacturing and other industries to centralize design files and facilitate collaboration among teams. So here are some key components and aspects of a CAD database. One is CAD files. The primary content of a CAD database consists of CAD files which contain detailed design information in digital format. The second one is a file organization. CAD databases often include a structured system for organizing files. This may involve creating the folders or directories for different projects, disciplines or departments. A well-organized file structure makes it easier to locate and manage design files. Third one is a version control. The version control is crucial in CAD database to track changes and revisions made to design the files. It ensures that teams are working with latest and most accurate designs. Fourth one, access control. Access control features restrict who can you edit or delete CAD files within the database. Fifth one, collaboration tools. CAD databases may include collaboration features like comments, annotations, and a task assignment. These tools facilitate communication and collaboration among team members working on a design project. Sixth is the data backup and recovery. So to prevent data loss, CAD databases often implement regular backups and the recovery procedures. This ensures that design data remains safe and can be restored in case of hardware failures or accidental deletions. So CAD computer aided design databases use various data structures and models to organize and manage design and engineering data efficiently. So data structure set of data items or elements that are related to each other by a set of operations. A data structure is a scheme, logic or sequence of steps developed to represent a certain CAD model. So here are some different types of CAD database structures that is um, CAD database structures. One is a relational database model. Second one is object oriented database model. Third one is a hierarchical database model and fourth one is a network database model. Fifth is a document management system and the sixth one is a cloud based storage and collaboration platforms. Seventh one is a custom CAD database structures and eighth is a spatial databases. So these are the several database structures. Now I will explain in detail about the first four database structures in this video. So first let us see that how the database is arranged. Relational database model. The relational database model often used in the context of computer aided design plays a significant role in managing complex data related to design, engineering and manufacturing processes. So in CAD, a relational database is employed to store and organize various types of design related information such as geometry, material, assembly structures and metadata. 
so data is stored in tables called relations that related to each other the relations are stored in files that can be accessed sequentially or in a random access mode the sequential access files are widely used so one of the disadvantages of the relational database is that it requires substantial sharding which might result in slowing system response to user commands now let us see that we take the simple example where is data structures of an object now let us take this is the object and it's identified the salient points and uh, give the assign the numbers now we can assign the surfaces this is a surface 1 s1 and this is the surface s2 now we can assign the edges also now this see the a b c d e f g h are representing the edges okay so for creating this object there is a several ways to uh, get the information geometrical information and that information is stored in the database now let us see that what are the possibilities of information in the, for this object so various data structures of an object now you can see that uh, the, this is the for set of vertices for this object there, there is a eight vertices so the vertice one two three four five six seven eight will be assigned like this this is set of vertices this is one type of uh, data structure and second is a set of edges that uh, the a b c d e f g h the set of edges and various data structures of an object and the C is a connectivity vertices. Now you can see that one, one is connected with edge A and H, two is connected edge A and B, three is connected edge B and C, four is connected edge C and D, five is connected edge D and E, six is connected edge E and F. Like that, the connectivity vertices also can represent. Next, edge information. Now this edge is connected with points one and two. Edge B is connected with point 2 and 3. Edge C is connected point 2 and 3. Edge D connected point 2 and 3 like that. Okay, that is edge information. Next, you have to surface information also. The surface S1 is bounded with the, the vertices 1, 2, 7 and 8. And surface 2 is bounded with 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so like that, uh, you can arrange uh, the different uh, the database. Now, let us see that in detail about the these database models. Now, first we will see the relational database model. Now, this is the image you created. Now, how we can store this image? Now, the, you can see that the several relation database models uh, the by uh, several categories. Now, first we will see the relation by points. So, now this is the tabular form. You can prepare for the points. Points, here how many points are there? There is eight points are there. And the, each point x coordinate, y coordinate you can store. Now, the point P1 x coordinate is x1, y coordinate is y1. And point P2 is x2, y2. Point P3 is X3, Y3. Point P4 is X4, Y4. Point P5 is X5, Y5. Point P6 is X6, Y6. Point P7 is X7, Y7. Point 8 is X8, Y8. So now here all these 8 points, the X coordinates. So this relation, this data I can store, that is a relation by points. Now, now we will see that uh, next category is uh, relation by line or curve. So this uh, object is bounded with the help of the lines or curves that can be represented. Now you can see the tabular form. So the lines here there is a uh, eight lines are there that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So the start point and end point. The start point is the one and end point is the two. So for the line B, 2 and 3, for line C, 3 and 4, for line D, E, 4 and 5, for line E, 5 and 6, for line F, 6 and 7, for line G, 7 and 8, for line H, 8 and 1. Okay. So this is relation by line or curve. Next we will see the relation by the surface. There is two surfaces, S1 and S2. So now in this tabular form, the surface 1 and surface 2, line or curve and what is the type. Now you can see that A is the line and B, F are line and G is the line and H is the line. Here only no line, there is no curves. Similarly for the surface S2 also, C is the line and D is the line and E is the line, 
B and F is the line. So likewise we had to uh, prepare the tabular form. There is a relation of the surface with the line and what type of line that will be tells with this tabular form. Okay. So these are the relational database model relations. Either you can use with the help of the points or with the help of the edges or with the help of the surfaces. You can create the database. Now coming to the second category, second model, object oriented database model. It's mainly that object here it consists of the uh, dividing the uh, entire uh, the diagram into the several objects. Okay. Now you can see that main object, this entire is the call it as a main object that divide into the two objects. Okay. So that is an object one and that object two. And object one, that object one is a SO1 and SO2, and object two, that is a SO1 and SO2. Like that, uh, you have to categorize the, the representations. This, this form of the structure is called as an object oriented database model. So, this main object is divided into the sub object, and sub object is divided into the further objects. And the, this object itself is if required, you can divide into the further objects like that you can represent. So, this type of model is called as an object oriented database model. Next, the th third one is a hierarchical database model. Now you can see that this is the same image, the uh, same object. You want to prepare the hierarchical database model. Now you can see that the hierarchical database model, this is the object. Okay, now you can see that uh, just I want to highlight. So this is the object and this object is consist of the two surfaces S1 and S2. This is surface level, this call it as a surface level. And this surface S1 is uh, bounded with the edges. What are the edges? A, B, C, D. These are the four edges are bounded with the surface S1. Similarly, surface S2 is bounded with edges E, F, G and D. So, this is called as edge level. And again, this edge, this edge A is a vertex. The What are the vertexes are that? That is a 1 and 4. This edge is bounded with 1 and 4. Okay. And 1, this vertex 1. And similarly, like we can prepare all the vertex levels, all the vertex levels. Then, this each vertex again the coordinate levels. That is a X1, Y1. And for 2 is x2, y2, for 3 is x3, y3, like that coordinates levels. Okay. So you can see, you can flow how the flow is taking place from the object to the coordinate, that is the top to the bottom in several uh, hierarchy. So this is called a hierarchical database model. So this entire object is dividing to the sub objects, and sub object is dividing to the further sub objects. Likewise, you can go on till the last end. This type of representation is a call it is a hierarchical database model. Next, fourth network database model. Now, you can see the same figure. We can how we can prepare the network database model that we will see here in this image. The entire object is divided into the two surfaces S1 and S2, and this S1 is connected with the edges A, B, C and D. Now you can see that S1 is connected to A and A to B and B to C, C to D and D to S1. Similarly for S2 is connected with the D, E, F, G. This is the surfaces. Okay. So that edges with the help of the edges the surfaces are formed. And now coming to this vertices, here there is vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is there. Now you see that this edge A, edge A is connected with the vertex 1 and 4. You can see that the edge is connected with 1 and 4. And similarly edge B, it is connected with 2 and 1. Okay. Likewise, we have to represent and this type of representation is a network representation. So, you can flow. So, connectivity is following this path. So, network database model. This type of database is called as a network database model. Now, let us see some examples. Develop database models for the following products. Okay. So, now this is the mechanical block. Similarly, you can prepare the database model. You can out of the four models, any one model you can prepare the relation database model, network database model, object oriented database model. That is up to you. And the, another example that is a rubber gasket. This for this also you can prepare the database models. 
you see that uh, some more uh, objects uh, that is uh, the 3d models that is a shaft supporting block and there is a wall mounted uh, bracket okay these two also if uh, possibility is that we can prepare uh, for the database model so that we can confident as many number of problems we can practice as many that confident build in your view how we can represent for a given drawing the database structures i hope everyone can understand uh, about the database model and what are the, uh, the database structures are used in cad thank you